Welcome back to the best FPS where I have my way with indie FPSs and tell you if it was worth it or not. Today I will introduce you to the wonderful world of Voidborn, developed and published by Zek Vera. This game combines fast and clean movement with precise gunplay and ability usage. Another game that uses roguelike elements to keep things fresh and I know what you're saying. But I have to say that my favorite part of the gameplay is the movement. Infinite slide. Yes, you heard me. Infinite. Including turning so you can literally have any map as a racetrack. That's bonus points for me. This is currently only in demo form, but it's a great showcase of what's to come. You start with a revolver, a grenade, and a gravity pulse. The revolver is very satisfying to shoot, especially when it's upgraded to do crazy things like chain lightning to every enemy in the room and then make them explode. It's a power fantasy in your right hand. And they've got all types of stuff like kindled where they take damage over time, chargeable lightning shots, and explosive shots. The grenade is a grenade. Throw it, boom. What were you expecting? Seriously. Now the gravity pulls can be used two ways, to propel yourself from the ground and get air time, or this. Tight. But I hate to say it, the parry isn't seamless with standard combat considering how fast you move. Projectiles just don't keep up with you to make it work. You're most likely just gonna have to stand still and at that point you should just shoot. You also have an ultimate where you pull out a second gun. Simple yet effective. I count six shots, nigga. I count two guns, nigga. Like I said before, the highlight of this game to me is the movement. The slide is literally infinite. You can clear an entire room while sliding. Watch. No double jump unfortunately, but you do get the benefit of wall slidings and some dashes as well. You do get a void dash where you can dash to wherever you're looking and use it to slam into enemies or get yourself out of some sticky situations. Combine these things with the energy pulse and you will have the time of your life just flying around. After clearing a room, a few options are available for upgrading. Orange is chaos, yellow is lightning, green is a health boost, and red is fire. Each contains that specific archetype so lightning gives you lightning perks and fire gives you fire perks and so on. Nothing complicated. Two bosses are available, a testicle with discharge and a big angry toddler having a tantrum. Both are very easy as well. After completing your first run through the game, you can do a new playthrough and unlock access to new weapons by talking to this blacksmith. You get access to an AR and a shotgun. They're good, but just not as fun as a revolver. I have to say though, the AR is really good at melting the bosses. I've spent about 4 hours in this game and I can let you know now that this will be a gem upon release. You can play the demo currently, I'll drop the link in the description down below. So go check out Voidborn and stay tuned for the next part of the best FPS. Thanks for watching.